Okay, what we have here is another work energy problem. Uh, this is the C2 problem for the unit on number 69A, if that makes sense. Um, what we have, if you've ever seen an aircraft carrier for the Navy, um, they actually have slingshots on board that help the jets take off. They essentially uh, pull back a huge tension spring um, or a huge tension line, and then they accelerate these jets forward. They basically throw them off the aircraft carriers while the jets are at full thrust, and these jets take off on very, very short uh, runways. So that's actually how they do it. So it's more like a catapult launcher, just less arm throwing and more boom, slingshot forward. So it accelerates a jet from zero from rest to 72 meters per second. The work done by the catapult during the launch is 7.6 times 10 to the seventh. This is formatting weird, but it should say times 10 to the seventh joules. We just want to know what is the mass of the jet. So if we know how much work is done and we know the change in speed, we're just looking for a mass. And with our work energy formula, this is straightforward. We know our work energy formula is F dot delta X, but this F dot delta X, this is work. This is the 7.6 times 10 to the seventh joules. And we know that this has to equal the one half M VF squared minus VI squared. So what we can say in this problem is 7.6 times 10 to the seventh joules equals one half M, the mass of the jet, which we're looking for, times our final velocity, 72 squared, minus our initial velocity is zero. So we don't even have to put anything there. We can just close out that parenthesis. And at this point, our problem is pretty much over. We just need to solve for M. We can multiply two on each side to get rid of the one half. So we've got two times 7.6 times 10 to the seventh. And then now we need to divide by the 72 squared. And remember, we're dividing by 72 squared. You can either square the 72 first, get a giant number and then divide by it. Or when we divide, we'd write 72 squared. And we want to be very careful when we enter that into our calculator that we're not accidentally squaring something else. We're not squaring the entire thing on accident. You don't want to do that. Those are all little math mistakes people make. We want to make sure we don't fall into those holes. So we just bought our calculator now because this problem is done. We just need to crunch numbers. Uh, two times the quantity 7.6 times 10 to the seventh. Remember, if you're putting times 10 to the seventh into a calculator, it is best to use the E key for that. That is the capital E. Um, that's what we use for scientific notation on calculators. When we slam enter, we get 152 followed by a bunch of zeros. And then we divide by 72 squared. Make sure you put that 72 squared in parentheses when you divide it so that it squares and then divides. We get a final mass of 29,320 kilograms. So a very massive jet, but that just shows you how powerful our aircraft carriers are and just how much uh, work they're actually doing pushing these jets forward. And you don't want to get in the way of them. They will slice you in half. So be very, very careful uh, if you're ever in our armed forces and you're launching planes off of aircraft carrier. But with that, that problem was another work energy problem. Um, it's important for us to remember that our traditional F dot X is just work, and because we had that work in this problem, this problem was very straightforward for us to solve. And with that, this problem is finished. Until next time, adios, and take it easy.